Hello everyone, welcome back to Recap. I'm Christina. Today, I'm going to talk about the American science fiction action film called Jumper. Let's enjoy until the end. When David was 15 years old in high school, he discovered his ability to teleport or jump after he falls through thin ice on the Huron River. He uses the ability to escape the abusive household of his father and moves to New York. There, he rocks Ben by teleporting into the Fox after hours. Eight years later, David lives a life of leisure in a luxury penthouse apartment, spending his tales jumping around the world to various exotic sites, including surfing in Tahiti, lunching on top of the Sphinx heart, and picking up a woman in a London pub. One day, he is confronted by Roland, a leader of the plottings who hang and kill jumpers, believing their gifts make them abominations. Roland attacks David with special eye weapons meant to disrupt a jumper's ability to teleport away. But David manages to escape back to his home in Ann Arbor. There, he reconnects with his high school crush Millie, where she chants bar and also runs into his former high school bully, Mac. David and Mac fight and David jams him into one of the bank box he robs years earlier. Meanwhile, David charms Millie into joining him on a spontaneous vacation to Rome. David trespasses at the Colosseum when they are turned away from the gates by the guards, and while Millie is still outside the gate, he is attacked by the team of Paladins. Griffin arrives after following David. Since they ran into each other in London, he kills the Paladins, quickly explaining who and what they are to David, and then leaves. David accidentally chases Griffin through his jam scar, that even Horizon created while the jumper creates the warm hole they pass through, and he arms at Griffin's lair in the middle of a desert. He quickly returns to Rome, where he is arrested for trespassing and taken into custody. After eight hours of interrogation, David's mother Mary suddenly appears and leaves him keys to escape his handcuffs before the Pilardings arrive to kill him. He quickly escapes, as called Millie from the police station to the airport, where he puts her on a flight back to America, and then returns to Griffin's lair. David asks Griffin for an explanation as to why Pilardings are killing jumpers, and Griffin explains that the war has been going on since the Dark Ages. According to Griffin, the Pilardings are religious fanatics who believed that the power to teleport should only lie with God. He then tells David that Pilardins won't hesitate to kill anyone just to get to David. Realizing his father and Millie could be in trouble, David teleports to William and finds him unconscious on the floor. He teleports them to a hospital and medical personnel rush to help William. David returns to Griffin's hideout wanting to get more information on Roland as he intends to kill him. Griffin says it's useless as he's been tracking Roland for more than 10 years, and with each encounter, Griffin only comes out with more scars. David offers to partner together in an effort to kill Roland and save Millie, but Griffin turns him down. Griffin then teleports to China, but David follows. Stay trying to convince Griffin to partner together. Griffin finally agrees when David tells him that he knows where Roland could potentially turn up nace pertaining to Millie. They jump to the airport while Millie was due to arrive, hoping to intercept her before she leaves, but they are too late and she has gone home. David jumps to her apartment and demonstrates his powers to her in a quick explanation before the Paladin show up and attack the apartment. David quickly jumps her away to Griffin's lair and raising Griffin as he explains to David that the Paladins possess the technology to keep a jumper's jumps car open and pass through it themselves. Roland and his team then suddenly jump through that car and into Griffin's lair while they fight the two jumpers. Roland pins David with electrical webbing to the wall and nearly kills him. 
Max Griffin appears and blasts at him and his team with a flamethrower. Roland automatically enters back into the James car. Griffin jumps in after Roland. Roland and Griffin reappear back in Millie's apartment, and the fight continues. Finally, Griffin can retrieve the machine of the plotting team that keeps the scar open, bringing it back with them. However, before the scar closes, the plotting cable fires through the scar and grabs Millie, pulling her through the scar and back into her apartment. David wants to rescue her, while Griffin refuses to help, saying losing friends and family to the plotting is simply a part of Jampo's life. Griffin then presses a bomb he has told in his lair to deliver to Millie's apartment and hopefully kill Roland and the rest of his team. David now wanting to endanger Millie, steals a bomb and Griffin pursues. The two engage in a lengthy battle through multiple jam sites on top of mountains at landmarks and finally at a chain battlefield where David manages to trap Griffin in tangled high tension wires. He then returns to Millie's apartment to confront the Paladins who immediately trap him in their high voltage cabling. Wanting to rescue Millie, he attempts to jam her entire apartment. A feat no jumper has succeeded at until that point. David jams the apartment with Millie and the Paladins into the Huron River where he fell through the ice as a teenager. He then jams himself, Millie and Roland to the library. Through the successive jams, render him unconscious. Millie revives him and he jams Roland to an isolated cave above the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon, reminding Roland that he's different from the other jambers because he didn't kill Roland when he had the opportunity. Later, David tracks down his mother, who is also a plodding, and has walked from the inside of the organization to protect David by hiding information about him from her colleagues. He accepts that they are on opposite sides and bids farewell to his mother on good terms, then jumps away with Millie to a warmer destination. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the red subscribe button and press the bell icon. That will, you will know every time a new video is uploaded. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.